And we are live on YouTube. So if you could switch off your mobile. Vivek, you need to switch off your mobile. I think it's still on. Okay, lovely. So it's time to start and uh, uh, good afternoon teachers. Uh, so wonderful to be with all of you. What a beautiful school you have at the Gurukul World School. Uh, it's an honor to be here today. My name is Atul Khosla. I am the founder and pro vice chancellor of Shulini University, Himachal Pradesh, Kasoli Hills. It's a beautiful day today and Vivek and I were just speaking about it. We're gonna to talk to you today about how do you give effective online lectures? And I have Vivek Atre, who will be the first speaker today. And after that, it would be me. As a quick introduction, Vivek is an IS officer, a motivational speaker, and now has done more than, I think, 200 webinars. He does probably two or three every day. Uh, he's just done a video on how to give effective online webinars and lectures. And he's going to talk about his thoughts and his ideas today. Uh, Vivek, as I said, is an ex-IS officer, one of the key brains behind the IT park of Chandigarh when he was director IT of the Chandigarh administration. He's been DC Punchula, Punchkula. He's been quoted in the Wall Street Journal. He's written multiple books. So the list goes on. Also very, very well viewed on YouTube. I think you've got more than 2 million views, Vivek. My name is Atul. I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor of Shulini. I'm a beta from IT Kanpur. And uh, I also, Vivek, have done a little over 200 webinars. So uh, we've been transforming Shulini into uh, an online virtual university. We've been very successful. So I would love to share my thoughts around that. The format for the day will be, Vivek, if you could take around 20 minutes to of 18, 17, 18 minutes to talk to us, our teachers. I will come with a small presentation and then I'll request all of you to please ask questions for all of us. We will love to answer the questions for the panel discussion. I'll also request Shikha Sood to join me. So Vivek, over to you. I won't take more time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Atul. Very good introduction as always and a very warm welcome as always. Uh, all the teachers who have joined, welcome to this webinar. About 35 people I see already in the participants list some more maybe on YouTube. These are uh, webinars being conducted by Shulini University. Atul and I appear on the webinars on uh, Ideas That Matter, which is the title. And we have topics of various kinds. Today, you have chosen a topic of online teaching and uh, how to be an excellent uh, online communicator. So I think we have a very good topic in store today. I already see some teachers uh, posting in the chat box. You can ask questions of Atul later. So my ideas on uh, speaking before a camera, first of all, all of us are living in this time when we have to speak to a camera. Earlier times was in the class, I also resigned from the IAS and I'm a visiting professor at Chulini University. I am a teacher in uh, various ways. I am also mentor to Vivek IAS Career Academy, so I go and take classes. So it's very nice to be in the class, but nowadays we are in front of a camera. So being in front of a camera means that we are to uh, take uh, different measures in order to be effective. What is the first thing we need to do? The first thing is to be absolutely uh, calm and collected. Instead of being in a hurry, instead of being always uh, in a tizzy, it's better to be ready uh, maybe 10 minutes before or at least five minutes before you're absolutely seated and ready. And secondly, your logistics have to be in place. Logistics have to be your lighting, your computer, your stability of the place. There's nobody running in and out. You can try and take care of that also. A glass of water. These kinds of things are logistics. Internet connection. Atul will tell you more points on this. He has a PPT and a list of points on this. So the point is that you have to be aware of the logistics. And then comes the big one, which is the content. The content has to be absolutely pure and simple. It has to be uh, clear. Also, as you know, the government of India has said that online teaching should not be for very long periods. That means you should not have a one hour class or even a 45 minute class. Perhaps it is to be only 30 minutes, 25 minutes. 
because the span of attention online is going to be even less than it is in the class. Your eyes will tire out. Your, your whole uh, atmosphere is not as conducive to long interactions as it is in the school. But that short interaction can be made more effective. So uh, by being a good content creator, that means your content is absolutely attuned. That actually you know the subject very well. That's why you're teaching that subject. All you have to do is tune that content according to the time available, according to the chapter that you have to teach. So be ready with a few key points. And when you're ready with a few key points, then you will be able to deliver the goods. That means you'll be able to deliver the lecture very well. Also be ready with some interactions. One of the keys is to interact. And students who are uh, not paying attention and uh, switching off the camera or whatever, that means that they are not really activated or they are not involved. So you must name people first of all. You can name someone. Okay, Rajesh Sri, please will tell me this. Okay, uh, Naveen, please tell me this. Okay, Siddharth, it's your turn now. So by naming the children, you are actually uh, making them a little more alert. Thirdly, you will have to give them some incentive. And that incentive could be in the form of e-certificates, which many schools have adopted. These e-certificates will enable the best participants online to get some incentive. And other children will also see that uh, they are not participating. So the other person, the other boy has got a certificate. I have not got it. So I will also participate next week. So every week you can give one best offer or best uh, interaction student, a boy, a girl, whatever. Uh, any certificate. Also, you can have quizzes. As Atul will tell you, these activities, games, quizzes, they're very important. And uh, then only it becomes participatory. Because in the classroom, you are present. You can talk to children directly. You can uh, even pat somebody on the shoulder that you did very well. Or you can smile more. Here, it becomes a little difficult. But your content, if it is that, absolutely, as I said, well-prepared and structured, then you'll be able to do very well. The next point that I have raised in my video on uh, uh, public speaking at uh, online forums is that you have to make some interesting tidbits a part of your lecture. I was saying yesterday that we had Mr. R.C. Jeevan on a, one of our webinars, and he's a chemistry professor of old time, now retired as a principal and director of DAV institutions. He said, he said, even in chemistry, I used to tell stories. So if you can tell stories in chemistry, then you can definitely tell stories in history or English or Hindi or geography or whatever it is. So definitely bring in some stories, anecdotes online. Online, you need to be more entertaining, captivating, engrossing than you are in a classroom. And you smile more. You'll have to be pleasing. You can be Obviously, uh, try and be a little formally dressed if you can. It uh, doesn't help to be informally there. And I think many teachers have taken it seriously and they are getting ready properly for the class. Because if you take it as a class in the school, except that you are on uh, the camera, everything else is the same, then you will do better. So my, my belief is that with these stories, with this uh, kind of action of uh, preparing yourself better, you'll be absolutely fine. You'll do very, very well in the online lecture. Also, your sound and your volume can be a little louder than usual. You have to speak a little more loudly on camera because the people are distracted. Children are distracted by various things at home. There are so many distractions. So you have to be in their uh, ears and in their minds so loud that uh, they cannot actually look there and there. Because your ma'am's uh, voice is coming into you, into your system, that the child cannot look here and there. So it is very important that the teacher is also loud enough. Of course, you need voice rest. Keep a cup of uh, tea or a warm water glass or even cool water next to you. And uh, go out uh, between classes. Try and refresh your mind by being in the open air. Take some fresh air. Have a quick walk if you can. So another thing that will help you is to take out time for yourself in the day. This is a point which Atul normally brings in and I also feel very strongly about it. Take time out for yourself nowadays. You are holding online classes. 
you are being all rounders by being in the at times in the kitchen at times in the house at times in the class and online and then you have to look after your own children you have to look after elderly people at times so take out still you take out half an hour for yourself every day how can you do that early morning late night after lunch i don't know when it's up to you meditate in that half an hour uh, refresh yourself by singing something going for a walk or or reading walk etc actually has to be the additional half an hour so half an hour for your reading and meditation and music perhaps and half an hour for your walk so these things will refresh you you must notice that i didn't say half an hour for your television because television is something that is against screen time and video is against screen time so try and minimize your social media to the extent possible whatever gives you joy and whatever gives you entertainment and whatever gives you important uh, news it's okay and then try not to watch the tv news later because if you watch the tv news then you are already tired you're not in a frame of mind that you will be able to teach well in the class the next day and when you sleep also you don't get good sleep if you have slept watching the tv news i've given you many inputs but all of these one is common and that one input is that you have to be very um, enthusiastic towards what you are doing atul just said that uh, he and i have done maybe he's done more he's done about 200 webinars i may have done 150 i don't know and uh, we have we are not tired of it. the best thing is that our enthusiasm is still there and that enthusiasm will give you less burdens when you love your work then obviously you don't feel tired at all so you'll have to fall in love with this online uh, methodology paradigm and uh, even when we go back to the classroom this will continue for some ways in for some time uh, for maybe 10% of the uh, total teaching maybe online maybe 20% maybe 40% but it will continue in some ways so those teachers who can make friends with online presence and those teachers who can attune themselves to the online offline game of teaching it is better and you can also inspire children to participate a little more by asking them to tell their own stories to make some uh, drawings or some artifacts or some uh, craft and to display them online they can show the pictures of what they have done you can also make uh, older children do some projects and display them online because they can't be seen physically at the moment and many schools are also doing a lot of assessments a lot of tests which can be done yes good a little bit of tests also are good and whatever exams you have to hold they also have to be done very innovatively using learning management system and shulini university actually has a very good learning management system which will be very useful to you if you collaborate with shulini i think all the teachers of chandigarh mohali panchkula schools are very very bright i have met lots of them i have been director of school education i have been around speaking in this tri city almost every week i am somewhere or the other when the lockdown is not there but uh, you are in a very good school and uh, mohali is a great place for education so i think all of you are placed to adapt much more easily to the online uh, modes than teachers who are in far flung areas yesterday we were at a webinar with army public school patiala and they had a problem that in their cantonment they don't even have proper connectivity so the net connectivity is really bad and in your case it might be better and it might be useful to make sure that it's even better than otherwise and uh, atul will give you tips on that also so just make sure of these points which i'll recap for you and you'll do very well the first one is logistics the second one is content the third one is delivery delivery your voice your style your volume your stories your smile they are all part of your delivery so make sure that you make use of these techniques and the next is interactions games quizzes and make sure that you have prepared yourself well for your class also be mentally looking forward to it instead of treating it like a burden and often uh, you can uh, take breaks in the fresh air you know i know it's very hot but even so spend some time away from the ac that also tire you know ac tires me out a lot if i am in the ac the whole day it dehumidifies not only the atmosphere it dehumidifies yourself also so you must drink more water you must relax a little more 
and when you are in the class then you have to be there these are the tips that i had to give and uh, i would be very happy to keep in touch with all of you i'm just going to show you the cover of my book which has also speaking skills as a chapter this is finding success within by vivek atre that's me and uh, that's a book available on amazon it's 52 life skills for young indians and this is uh, something which will enable us to be connected even otherwise on social media let's be connected and keep in touch so my good wishes to you all atul over to you thank you vivek uh, what a beautiful summary and i'll request and advise all the teachers over here to do have a look at uh, vivek's beautiful webinar on uh, how to give great online lectures uh, we also have jaswinder ma'am uh, ma'am welcome uh, to the webinar so lovely to see you thank I've you so much about your school. how you jaswinder ma'am all fine good evening sir i'm good uh, vivek sir we've met earlier also at sri aurobindo school you have come yes, to yes. deliver a lecture and you yes. really inspired the children as you are doing the teachers today So I remember all that you're talking about delivery and including stories and anecdotes. You'd used all that. I still remember how you'd uh, spoken about being enthusiastic about cricket and then becoming an IAS officer, but going back to your cricket and things like <laughs> that, which really Thank connected so with the kids. So I, uh, you, whatever you're saying, I've seen you do that. So I want to tell everyone that uh, you actually walk the talk, and uh, that's how they should do. Connect with the children and uh, talk about things and uh, deliver in a manner which is relevant to them and which is their life. So we can be more effective that way. Absolutely, so well said, ma'am. And uh, thank you, Vivek. You you spoke about fashion and you spoke about love. Uh, there's a saying by Confucius. Uh, if you choose a job you love you'll never have to work a day in your life and as teachers i think we're all blessed we have the opportunity of changing the world we have the opportunity of making our students super successful and i think we've all done an amazing job during corona we're all corona warriors we've ensured that we've gone out out there and done teaching in a way that we never thought we would i mean i i never thought that i'll be out there you know talking to each other over a zoom uh, seminar and it's amazing you are in mohali ma'am and vivek is in panchkula i am in uh, solan and kasoli but uh, we could have been anywhere in the world we could have been on the moon for god's sake and that's the beauty of online so uh, uh, you know what i'm going to do uh, teachers is uh, i've been a very strong proponent of online for a very long time we've been working on online for the last 5 to 7 years we created a platform called e university around 5 years ago and then i started working on a project called project megdoot the whole idea behind project megdoot was that we want to democratize learning with our students bring the best teachers in front of our students which today we can through online you know we've already had four nobel prize winners vivek who spoken to our students over the last 3 months as an example you've had people like yuvraj saying anupam khair diya mirza gulpanag and many many more this couldn't have happened in the real world so yes it's a challenge but then the online world also brings in new opportunities and we're going to look at these new opportunities as a glass half full and not half empty so i will interrupt you for a second you need to run i guess uh, i'll have to take leave but ma'am i'll want to tell you that atul is a very humble person he has got great achievements in the corporate world before he became a teacher and he has great experience of this subject and atul uh, i would be very happy if you told them later the story of how you practiced before a camera for many years before becoming a confident speaker so over to you and thank you so this much this is part of my story vivek has got an urgent meeting so vivek we will leave you here i think questions we will post to you i think jaswinder ma'am you might want to add something before yes then... i just want to thank uh, vivek ji for joining us and it's our honor to have him a figure like him to address us it's an inspiration in itself and then his words were so inspiring so thank you so much mr vivek for joining us i'm sure much. the teachers also would like to say the same things i'm saying so i'm saying on behalf of all of us thank you so much sir yes and sir, we, we, should, have... we would want to have more opportunities this should not be the first and last one totally atul and i will come also one day 
<laughs> most welcome, we, most we are welcome. Actually be our... A lot on the new education policy. So yes, possibly Shikha, you can reach out to ma'am and uh, coordinate that. Yes, definitely for sure. Thank, thank you, you so oh, much, Vivek. Yes, thank you and see you. And I'll pull out a small presentation that I've made for all of you. Uh, the topic, of course, is the same, which is uh, which is online education. What I've done, uh, Jaswinder ma'am, is uh, put down a few stories, put down a few stories from my life. As I did mention, uh, I've been working with this idea about making sure that students get the best of both the classroom and the online world. And along the journey, I've realized that the online world is no different from the classroom world or the real world, as we call it. So some of the principles that made us successful in the classroom are the principles that will make us successful doing online, of course, with a little bit of fine tuning. And I'm going to talk a bit about that. So rather than go through a boring lecture, I put in five stories on what I call effective online learning. And these stories are built around people that I have worked with, people who've taught me how to become a quality professional. And I'm going to tie the story around these five professionals. So I started my career with a consulting firm called McKinsey and Company. Uh, before that, I had gone to IIT Kanpur and an MBA. And uh, then I started with McKinsey. McKinsey, uh, for people who might not know, is one of the is the number one consulting firm in the world. It's extremely prestigious to be in McKinsey. And there were some great people I worked with. The first charismatic person I worked with was a person by the name of Ranjit Pandit. So Ranjit Pandit, incidentally, is also Vijay Lakshmi Pandit's grandson and an extremely inspirational person. And he would always say, always invest in a toolkit. And the example I give over here is that of a carpenter. So when we get a carpenter over home, the quality of his skill is driven by the randa or the saw that he or she has. If you don't have a quality toolkit, if the carpenter doesn't have one, his quality of furniture is not going to be that good. And I think that's what's going to happen in the online world. We as teachers have to invest in our toolkit not the school's toolkit, it is our toolkit. And what does that include? That includes, according to me, six things. It includes a laptop. You cannot give a quality lecture over a mobile. It's just not possible. You need the right hardware or the right laptop with you. And I'll talk about what a right laptop is in a second. You need the right software inside the laptop, which means uh, you need to have invested in a learning management system. Hopefully the school already has one. You should have a right collaboration tool, whether it's Google Meet, but it needs to be integrated with the learning management system. We are doing our assessments online using proctoring tools, which are built around artificial intelligence so that students can be judged fairly and they don't get the opportunity to cheat and stuff. So software in the right hardware, a dedicated place, very important. You can't have your kids and your dogs floating around when you're giving your class. Like in a classroom, you need quietness. The same thing is about your online class. One of the things which I do just with ma'am is, I actually outside my room, I, I've created a small board which says, I'm at work, please do not disturb. And I put that outside my bedroom. So which means my mother, father, my wife are not expected to disturb me at that point of time. Do that. If you've got a small home, put it outside your home. At the end of the day, you are working. So a dedicated place is very, very important. So I'm going to tell a small anecdote, which is very interesting. And it might have happened uh, to some of us. So a teacher of ours, a faculty of ours was giving a lecture. And she's a young faculty, 26, 27. And suddenly, and everything is being recorded nowadays, right? So suddenly her mother-in-law comes and starts scolding her for some <laughs> lunch that she had not made very well. So it was very embarrassing for her, of course. So we need to avoid these type of situations. I think when we talk about a dedicated place, make sure that you've got a good background, you've got the good lighting, uh, you have 
uh, a good uh, a good microphone to speak. For example, I do a lot of webinars. I've got this big microphone, which makes my sound clear. Uh, the place needs to be quiet. Fourth is a desk and chair. You know, we're going to be sitting on the desk for four to five hours on a on a on a chair. So have a comfortable chair. Don't just go and sit on the floor or pull in your dining chair. Invest that two thousand rupees on a quality chair in your home which you're going to have in a dedicated place and have a lovely table, right? I mean, it's always nice to have a lovely table that you're proud of with a small table lamp. That's what I've done. Uh, fifth, most importantly, is uh, connectivity. I have to mention over here, and I'm going to bend a second, that this does not work. So Wi-Fi does not work, teachers. You need a landline. You need a wired line, as we call fiber. There are some technicalities in this and I won't get into it, but this is uh, a Wi-Fi is run around around a free spectrum and free spectrums by definition can have interruptions from time to time. So Wi-Fi's by definition are, are disruptive uh, and are not stable platforms. So as much as you can try to get fiber onto your computer, uh, it's not very expensive nowadays. Uh, and and please do that. I'm also learning something very interesting, uh, Jaswinderji. You know, we all do a lot of Netflix and we all do a lot of uh, PUBG or whatever games. So what happens is we are, many times I've seen a pack that we have on our phone, if you're using a phone, that's already used over the, over the night. And, you know, when you come for your lectures uh, in the morning, then suddenly you're out of, out of charge. Uh, you need to then quickly charge your uh, your uh, mobile or your you know if you have a broadband 4G for that, and that's why uh, get a high data connectivity, uh, get a high speed connectivity. BSNL is really good. So if you're getting fiber, uh, Geo Fiber is also coming up. I don't know whether it's there in Mohali. My sense is Mohali would have it. So invest in that. Just like I said, every professional invests in the tools. And finally, you need collaboration tools. Uh, you might be using Zoom or Google Meet or any other collaboration tool. I will encourage the school, ma'am, you have the same consistent tool uh, for every teacher. So if you need any help separately, we can talk. Shikha can arrange the meeting and we can take you through uh, our best learning. So we've been working over the last six, seven years, as I said, on many of these tools and we've got some pretty sophisticated stuff. I'm going to skip the next uh, Next chart, but I want to bring this one up. You know, invest in the right laptop. Make sure it's at least an i3 fifth generation. Uh, on the software side, the last thing you can do is, you know, downloading at the last moment. You know, if you don't have Zoom and you have to get onto a webinar, I've seen, you know, people are downloading Zoom. So I have Google Meet. Uh, there are three, four platforms. There is Microsoft Teams, there's Google Meet. And now you've got, a uh, Geo has got, a platform and Airtel has got a platform and then you've got Zoom. So these six, seven platforms, make sure these applications are downloaded onto your computer. You might be playing uh, videos. So have a VLC player, make sure there's an antivirus software on a computer and Adobe Flash player because some videos that you'll play will need these, uh, these softwares. And finally, invest a little bit in your accessories. So a mouse, uh, uh, your, your keyboard, uh, your USB extension, if you have only one port, two ports are needed, uh, one for your uh, landline, uh, which I'm saying you want to have Ethernet connection, one for possibly a microphone or a webcam. Uh, I don't know how much uh, you teachers know, but you know your laptop webcam is not very good. Your mobile is way superior, but you can make your mobile into a webcam. And there's an application called Epoch Cam, E P O C. C-A-M. If you download that onto your mobile, you can make your mobile into a webcam. You don't have to buy a new webcam. And actually it gets, gets amazing results. That's what I'm using right now. So these are a few tips uh, which I think can help you. The most important one is investing in a microphone, investing in sound. You know you could have the best visuals, but if your sound is not good, uh, you know, you won't do well. I'm going to write this down, I think, once I get into the chatbot. So there's a microphone called Boya, B-O-Y-A. It's a company called Boya. You clip it on your shirt or your uh, your sari, and then you can use it, connects it to your computer. Uh, 
it normally costs i think 18 or 1900 if you buy it today i think on prime there's a big sale happening it's available for 900 rupees so again these are small things that i think as teachers please invest in them a couple of things more you know have a schedule you know when you're working from home uh, i get up in the 8 o'clock in the morning just when the ji i make sure that uh, i dress the way i would please do that uh, just make sure that you feel like you're at work i think it's important otherwise uh, things can get very awry I, i'm sure you already are doing that and i'm preaching to the popes over here but i just thought i'll bring it up so uh, just to do a quick recap invest in a toolkit uh, high speed wifi uh, ideally a landline laptop with a quality webcam or use your phone as a webcam a noise cancelling headset if you want to talk a lot a technology platform which is the learning management system a video system assessment system if you're using that and finally uh, i hope uh, uh, and again what i'm trying to say over here teachers is while the school will make you and teach you and take you through faculty development programs the onus lies on all of you the onus lies on you to get trained so there are a lot amount of training programs available uh, there's a platform called uh, Uh, edx edx coursera is another one c o u r s c r a they all free right now get yourself certified for online train online teaching it's your life invest in it i think you can do that a small example over here when it comes to instruction design online is a little different from offline or classroom human beings cannot absorb more than 20 minutes of content just in the g so your classes cannot be more than 20 25 minutes so you'll have to think rethink about how you how you teach uh unlike the way you did earlier uh my second uh, story is about todd furness and this is a very simple one uh todd is a charismatic a leader again i worked with him after mckinsey and todd would always say dress your best wherever you go wherever you are and that is i think the mantra even for online teaching uh, i know my my mother is a teacher my nana was a teacher they would be always dressed very sharp they would be so proud the way they dressed when they went to the classroom uh, i think that's the way we need to dress when we are in front of the camera uh, we all can become madhuri dikshit or amita bachchan now Uh, we are all being recorded and remember you're also being viewed by the nana nani dada dadis now you know it's not just the teacher anymore so please dress the way uh, you would dress to school with the best sari or your best shirt whichever way you dress normally third is a guy called tom peters tom peters was my boss when i ended up in new york he's a very famous author he has written a book called in search of excellence a very famous author and the learning over here which is again related to online is you know always make sure that your office is a quite convenient place which i spoke about earlier so uh i'm sure with a bit of discipline you can do that uh, it might not be always easy if you have small homes in india but uh, try as much as you can uh you don't want a situation where you're giving a lecture and your neighbor is shouting and uh, and as has happened right So one of the things which I do sometimes is I use a microphone, uh, a headphone like this, so it it makes sure that only my voice uh, is uh, is audible. Uh, something like this actually needs a quiet place. You need a studio for this. So uh, invest in the right technology if you don't have a separate office at home. Fourth, uh, uh, my spiritual guru is Paramahansa Yogananda, who's also Vivek's spiritual guru. Paramahansa Yogananda would say, "Stay calmly active and actively calm." What we mean by that is, talking on the computer is very stressful. For example, I have no idea whether I'm doing a good job or a bad job. I have no idea. Imagine how tough it is. I still have to bring in huge amount of energy into my class, right? I just have no idea how you guys are doing. I can see just Vinder Ma'am and thank you, Ma'am, for smiling once in a while. So uh, it gives me energy back. but it is tough it is tough like theater in theater you have a concept of fourth wall i don't know how many of you have done theater fourth wall basically you are taught in theater that you connect between the audience and you an imaginary wall and forget that you have an audience 
and start talking to the wall because even if there is no one in the audience, if you're a good theater artist, you have to always perform the best. And that can only happen if your mind is calm. And that happens through meditation and spirituality, I think. So I think being calm in today's stress times is also very, 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 very important. Yogananda Paramahansa is one, uh, you know, sect. There are many, many around. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, one or the other, but being spiritual helps. And uh, uh, we're not talking about religion here. We're talking about spirituality. So pick up something, whatever is close to your heart. Fifth, that's me. That's my story. Uh, I was covered in the Hindustan Times in, of Chandigarh around, uh, I think, uh, six months back. Uh, and uh, my life story, which Vivek said, was very simple. I grew up in Solon. I couldn't speak a word of English till I went to ID Kanpur. Uh, as luck would have it, my roommate was from Chennai. I was from Himachal. I couldn't speak Tamil. He couldn't speak Hindi. So we had to speak English. So we learned a bit of English along the way. I was lucky I went to Bombay for my MBA. I learned a little bit more how to speak English. And then I started working with McKinsey, which I told you was one of the best uh, consulting firms around. Three months into my job, my boss calls me and says, we have to fire you. It means we have to let you go because you do not have the style to succeed, the communication skills to succeed in consulting. Of course I didn't. I came from a small town. I'd never spoken English the way people in Bombay and Delhi do. My client was Ratan Tata. My first uh, person I would interact was Ratan Tata and I would just freeze in front of him. I would stammer. So uh, I had the courage to ask for time and luckily my boss gave me time. And what did I do? I practiced, practiced, practiced. For the next seven years, teachers, I would speak to a camera that I had bought, a video camera from Singapore. And every day for one hour, every day I would speak to the camera, invariably. And I learned how to speak. Now I uh, not only succeeded in consulting for two years, uh, which I was given, but I did 20 years in consulting. My last job was the CEO of a very, very large consulting firm for India and Asia, Oliver Wyman. Uh, which is a big competitor of McKinsey. And uh, as I was leaving uh, uh, for Shulani, my global CEO calls me and says, Atul, don't leave. And I ask him, why, Scott, I'm not even interested. And he made a very interesting statement, just Vindarji. He said, Atul, you are gifted. You have God's style. You've got amazing style. And I said, I have no style, right? So, uh, what I'm trying to say over here is practice, 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 teachers, experiment. You know, you don't, no one knows how to give a great online lecture. Just go out and experiment, which is what I'm going to talk in a second. So I'll just do a quick recap. Ranjit says, invest in your toolkit. Very important. Uh, always look good and smart. Have a great office. Meditate, stay actively calm and calmly active. And finally, practice, practice, practice. And before I end, I'm going to talk about my mentor, Steve Jobs. So Steve Jobs was a crazy guy. And Steve Jobs would say that, you know, we have to push the envelope. We have to do crazy things every day. And that's what I'm going to tell all of you teachers. Like I said, no one knows how to give a great online lecture. No one knows that. So experiment. For example, one of the things we are experimenting at Shulani Jaswinderji is, uh, multiple faculty online lectures. So two teachers talking to each other or teaching together, using a lot of videos, games, engaging your students in different ways that you would not have in the classroom. And uh, I'm gonna show a small video over here of uh, Steve Jobs, hopefully this plays. Here it is. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things they push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, 
we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. And this is my last message. Because the people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Be different, be crazy, and think completely outside the box. Thank you very, very much. And uh, that's uh, from my side. And I think before, you know, one of the things I do, ma'am, is uh, I, I also love to tease all of you. So, you know, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to tease all of you by showing uh, Shulani's campus. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, we are in the mountains. It's very beautiful out here. So yes. if you allow me, I'm going to, let me see if I can pull out a small video. I made this some time ago. Yes, I have it. So if you allow me, one minute of sure. Me. Sure. Here it is. Atulji, I have to say one word that stuck out was breathtaking. And especially after having been stuck in the house and homes for the past four and a half months to see nature and to see a campus like that, it was a thank you. I would say thank you. And you've this actually- was, I knew I would make you all jealous. So this of was- Of course, you awesome. have. <laughs> and under the circumstances more so. <laughs> under the current scenario. Absolutely. But thank you, you know so what? much, Atulji, whatever you've said, it makes so much sense. And I would like to add, as you said, uh, one thing that came to mind was perfecting the art, you know, as you said, practice, practice, practice. And uh, let me tell you, my teachers, I'm so proud of them that they didn't, they weren't trained for this kind of teaching. They were not trained before being thrown into the deep end. They learned on the job. And I can say for a fact from April when we started to now they have really grown and they have like tried to adopt so many new techniques and new things and they are experimenting and they are doing their best so we are all making effort and when people like you are experts at it come and give us some more tips and inputs it's encouraging it's stimulating it gives us impetus to do more so thank you so much it was wonderful interacting with you and our pleasure and our honor no it's it's a it's mutual just in their man thank you i think uh, the teachers have been around they've been very patient listening to us so mm -hmm. i've written down uh, the names of uh uh, edX and Coursera, I think it went up a little. I hope you've captured that, teachers. Yes, I think somebody wrote also they would want those names if you could put it in the chat box. I'll do the that. I'll do it again. Training, online training. Courses online training. Are, yeah, there's something called edX. So go to edX.com or yeah. Coursera. 
Um, so you can go over there. Uh, the best universities of the world have their uh, certifications there. So you could actually learn online teaching from Harvard, yeah. for example, and yeah. get a certification. So do that. And I also spoke about how do you make your phone into... Yes, uh, uh, yes a webcam. Yeah, the cam thing. Epoch, Epoch, Epoch that's cam. So that's it. it. Yeah. But just go and flirt around on YouTube. You know, there's so much stuff out there. Yes. Uh, there is something called a light board that we have just created. What yes. you do is you can create a light and you can write on it like a yes. board. So uh, absolutely just go out and experiment, teachers. And uh, the good news is you've got a wonderful principal. I'm sure she'll allow you to do all experiments and all new things. And kids love it. I think that's the important. Yes, yes. And their uh, response and their enthusiasm is our reward. When we see Absolutely. them interested and when we see that they are as animated as we want them to be, that's our reward. Absolutely. Shikha, you want to join us? Uh, we can take another couple of minutes before we close for the day. I have one question for you, Jaswinder, ma'am, which, yes, which, which intrigues me all the time. Uh, you know, I've always believed that school teachers are way superior than university teachers in terms of empathy and their ability to engage with students. So, you know, how do you, how do you engage uh, uh, kids who are in the, uh, you know, kindergarten to fifth grade? And I also find, by the way, dealing with... Uh, Younger ones, it's more difficult. 11th and 12th students are very, very tough to deal yes. with the teenagers. So how, do you, how do you teachers do that? I, I'm very interested. I, I'm sure they'll also tell you, but I can tell you, we have to go down to their level. You know, we have to, if we have kids at home, so we have to get interested in the kind of things they watch, what they like. If we know their world and we can talk about similar things in school with them, then that disconnect from their world and the school, it diminishes. And then they think that we are a part of their world. So I think I feel that makes a connect with them. Fantastic. So we, you know, I might be 50 plus or something, but then I ought to know at this time what a four-year-old or a six-year-old is watching and what are they interested in? What do they talk about? What kind of cartoons do they like? So if I bring up those words and those topics, then they feel, oh, she knows that. So she's one of us. I think that makes a difference. <laughs> Wow. So Shika, you've been a storyteller. You've gone out to schools and done a lot of storytelling. Yes. Uh, tell us uh, from your experience, you know, how, how would you engage, uh, you know, children and... Uh... I, uh, I feel that kids, they really love stories, like, yes. you know, and they are very good in making their own stories. Yes. So, you know, uh, teaching them through stories, like I, I believe, Atul, sir, your presentation, it was like, you know, we were... Ev you know, we were enjoying those five stories. So, yes. you know, if as adults, we enjoyed that. So I'm sure kids yes. went, and, and especially these stories, uh, like uh, which they know. And, and you can always, I feel with students, with any age group, you can always create your own stories. Mm -hmm. You know, give them, like, if you have to teach them adjectives, whatever you want to teach them. So it can be done through stories. And I've been like, uh, for last so many years, you know, um, uh, if I am with the uh, age group, five years old kids or with 10 years or 12 years. So depending on what the topic is, what we want them to learn. Yes. So you can, you can just create. Yes. So, yes. You know, we talk a lot about uh, EQ and creativity and emotional intelligence. Yes. And uh, it's so amazing that somehow we in India uh, stop using the right brain uh, to the extent yes. we should. Uh, creativity can create magic. Creativity can make uh, ordinary students extraordinary. Yes. So, so well said, Shika. Thank you so much. Excellent. So I think we have taken a long, we were supposed to take 45 minutes. We have five minutes before. <laughs> and, uh, but it was time. captivating. So I, we didn't feel the time fly by. You know, one of the things I do before I uh, uh, sort of go is I ask the other panelists to give the last thoughts. So the trick over here is only one sentence, Jaswinder, ma'am. So your last thoughts, one sentence. Engaging, captivating, uh, a great learning experience, adding so many new terms to my repertoire. Super. Shekha, anything that you'd like to share with the teachers? Yes. Engaging, yes. One has to be. Tell students more stories and uh, your, web, uh, your, uh, you know, your teaching has to be very less minutes now, only 20 minutes. So engage them, do a lot of activities with them 
and i i believe uh, you know if you do a lot of activities with them there are so many ways of doing it so let them enjoy this online teaching as teachers should enjoy their online teaching as well very true thank, thank you shikha my last thoughts are don't just think outside the box yes. break the box just break the box do stuff <laughs> that no one thought you can and only you can uh, teach the world how to do it teachers because you are innovative uh, lastly before i go uh, i'll also request all of you to please be very very careful stay safe uh, two of my very dear friends have actually unfortunately died in corona and uh, it's scary so it's it's hitting yes. the real world so yes. please don't go around uh, the markets i think the onus is on all of us to be safe and make sure corona doesn't spread spread so that's from my side once again thank you very much thank you it was our it's... honor and pleasure to interact with you guys and i think once uh, corona gets over we'd love to a come and visit you just winder ma'am and all definitely also, definitely so we'd love it to it will be our honor to thank host you, you. I mean, we invite them to Shulini also. <laughs> of course, you have tempted us with the video, so that that's very tempting of her. Okay. Teachers, have a great day and thank you, Jaswinder Man. And once thank again, thank you so Ika, much. Thank you. Thank, you. Have, thank a you. have a nice day and be thank safe. You. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.